Now, let's talk about the motion analysis of a reciprocating mechanism. Now, in this, you can see a slider crank mechanism. So, A and B are two points of the piston. So, initially the piston was at A, okay, and your crank pin was at E. The crank is rotating in a clockwise direction. So, what happens is the crank rotation from OE to OC by an angle of theta makes point, uh, piston pin uh, move from point A to point B. So, there is a linear displacement x. Okay. Now, what happens is this distance x, this is equal to this distance EF. Okay. T, this point D and this point F are different. So, D is the point where the perpendicular uh, from C meets the uh, line of uh, action or the uh, line of motion of the piston and F is the point, okay, F is the point which is basically drawn by putting a compass at B, taking a radius BC and drawing an arc. So, CF is an arc means BC is equal to BF. Okay, so mathematically I can say x is equal to AB which is equal to EF, EF this is also x. Now what is EF equal to? EF is equal to ED plus DF, ED plus DF. Now what is ED equal to? ED is equal to OE minus OD. So, this is OE minus OD plus DF. Now, what is DF equal to? DF is equal to BD plus DF. Oh, sorry, this is BF minus BD. BF minus BD. Now, what is OE equal to? OE is R. That is the radius of the crank circle. Okay. OD. OD, this, this length. This is the cos component of this crank circle radius. So, this becomes R cos theta plus BF. BF I told you is equal to BC which is L minus BD. BD this much length. This is the cos component of the length of the connecting rod. So, this becomes minus L cos phi. Okay. Uh, you can take R and L common from these two terms plus L into 1 minus cos phi. Let us look at the line CD. CD is common to BCD and ODC. Okay, so CD can be written as R sin theta and this will be also equal to L sin phi. Now, the value of sin phi will be equal to sin theta into R by L. Now, what is L by R? It is N. So, this becomes 1 by N. This would be sin theta upon N where n is the value of or the ratio between the length of con rod and the crank radius. Alright, so we have sin phi, I need to get a value for cos phi. So, cos phi would be equal to 1 minus sin square phi under root. Okay, I can substitute this value over here. So, you will have 1 minus sin square theta upon n square under root. This would give you n minus or n square minus n sin square theta upon n and this is under root. This n is out of the under root sign. So, this is your cos phi. So, I will substitute this value over here. 
okay so i will get x is equal to r into 1 minus cos of theta plus l into 1 minus n square minus sin square theta under root over n okay that is cos phi this is not by 2 this is just a symbol now this can be further simplified as r into 1 minus cos theta plus l upon n into this would be n minus under root n square minus sin square theta ok now what is l by n from here l by n is equal to the crank radius so i can substitute this value for r and take everything common so you will have x is equal to r into 1 minus cos of theta plus n minus n square sin square theta so this is a value of x okay after x let's find out the velocity of the piston 